Exercise 2.1, question number 4. Find the quartile deviation for the following data. अब यहाँ पर raw data set दिया हुआ है और हमें इसका quartile deviation calculate करना है. Now for quartile deviation, you need the lower and the upper quartile. That is Q1 and Q3. So, सबसे पहले हम data को ascending order में लिखते हैं. I have already arranged the data in ascending order. And the number of observations is 11. Now using this, we calculate karenge Q1. So we know that Q1 is equal to 1 into N plus 1 upon 4th observation. So the value of 1 into N plus 1 by 4th observation. Now N is equal to 11. So we have 1 into 11 plus 1 upon 4th observation. Now 11 plus 1 hota hai 12. 12 divided by 4 hota hai 3. So we have 3rd observation. So 3rd observation in the ascending order which is 1, 2, 3 that is 5. So Q1 value that is the lower quartile is equal to 5. Now we calculate the upper quartile that is Q3. Now Q3 is equal to 3 times n plus 1 upon 4th observation. Again n hum substitute karenge 11. So we have 3 times 11 plus 1 upon 4th observation. So this would be 11 plus 1 12. 12 divided by 4 is 3. right? So 3 into 3. So we have the 9th observation. So value of 9th observation is so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So the 9th observation in the ascending order is 16. So therefore Q3 value is equal to 16. So now we have Q1 and Q3. Now using these two, we can calculate QD. Now QD calculate karenge as Q3 minus Q1 divided by 2. QD that is semi interquartile range or quartile deviation. So it would be 16 minus 5 divided by 2 which is 11 upon 2. So the final answer is 5.5. So the value of QD is 5.5. Question number 5. Find the quartile deviation for. Now again we have been given a set of raw data. अब पहला स्टेप जो हम करेंगे वो है असेंडिंग ऑर्डर डेटा को हम असेंडिंग ऑर्डर में लिख लेंगे एंड यह भी ऑब्जर्व दैट द नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशंस इज इक्वल टू 10 सो देयरफॉर q1 वुड बी कैलकुलेटेड एज 1 into n plus 1 अपॉन फोर्थ ऑब्जर्वेशन सो अब n की वैल्यू यहां पर हम 10 सब्स्टिट्यूट करेंगे सो so 1 into 10 plus 1 upon 4th observation. Now 10 plus 1 hota hai 11. 11 divided by 4. Ye ho jata hai 2.75. So we have Q1 is the value of 2.75th observation. Now 2.75 ko hum split karenge as second observation plus 0 0.75 into now 2.75 lies between second and third observation so multiply karenge difference of third and second ke. so into third observation minus the second observation ab second observation jo ascending order ka hai wo hai 172 plus 0 0.75 into third observation is 188 minus second that is 172 so we have 172 plus 0 0.75 yeah agar hum difference lete hai so we get a difference of 16 so 172 plus 0 0.75 0.75 times 16 is 12. Now 12 plus 172 gives 184. 
So Q1 value that is lower quartile is 184. Now similarly we calculate the upper quartile that is Q3. This would be 3 times N plus 1 upon fourth observation which is 3 times again 10 plus 1 upon fourth observation. ये अगर हम simplify करते हैं, ये हो जाएगा 10 plus 11, 11 upon 4, that is 2.75 into 3. So 2.75 into 3 gives 8.25. So Q3 is the value of 8.25th observation. अब इसे हम split करेंगे as 8th observation plus 0.25 into 8.25 lies between 8 and 9. So multiply करेंगे हम 9th observation minus the 8th observation. ये difference है. So 8th observation ascending order का है 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8th value is 214. So 214 plus 0.25 into 9th observation. That is 230 minus 8, that is 214. So we have 214 plus 0.25. Ye difference aata hai 16. So we have 214.25 into 16 is 4. So Q3 value aa jati hai 218. So this is the value for Q3. So upper quartile is 218. Now we can calculate QD. Okay, so coral deviation is Q3 minus Q1 divided by 2. So that is 218 minus 184 divided by 2. So we have QD value. Ye jo difference hai, ye hai 34 divided by 2. So therefore, the value of QD is equal to 17. Like it, share it and subscribe to our channel for more such interesting videos. Thank you.